whole numbers, exponents, perfect squares, and square roots. With me, Catherine. Let's start out by answering the question, what is an exponent? An exponent is a shorthand notation for multiplying the same number by itself several times. Have you ever wondered what megabyte, gigabyte, or terabyte means when you read the description of your technology? Mega means 10 to the 6th, or 1 million. There's 1 million. Giga means 10 to the 9th. Oh my goodness. And tera means 10 to the 12th. Hopefully you can see that exponents make our lives really easy. Let's look at the different parts of an exponent. The B is called the base. A is called the exponent or the power. The exponent or power tells us how many times we will multiply the base. Exponents are really important concepts in mathematics, so it's super important that you understand how these work. Rewrite the multiplication as an exponent and simplify. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 3 to the 4th. Well, how do I know that? 3 is my base number. That's the number that I'm multiplying. 4 is the number of times I'm multiplying the 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 to the 4th turns out to be 81. Let's look at another one. 5 times 5. Well, that's 5 to the second power, or 5 squared. What exactly does that mean? Well, 5 is my base. That means I'm taking 5 and multiplying it twice. 5 times 5. 5 times 5 just happens to be 25. This also means multiplication. This one is 4 times 4 times 4. Can you guess what we would write as an exponent? Sure, 4 to the third power. Well, how did I get that? I'm taking the number 4 and I'm multiplying it 3 times. 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the third power gives us 64. Rewrite the exponent as a multiplication and simplify. 7 to the fifth power. Hopefully you remember that that means 7 multiplied by itself 5 times. 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. And what does that give us? 16,807. What about this one? 6 to the third power. How many 6's will I multiply? 3. 6 times 6 times 6 and that turns out to be 216. What about 1 to the 8th power? Oh my goodness. Well, that's going to be 1 times 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 1, which gives us 1. Here are a couple for you to practice. You're going to pause the lesson, find the answers, then press play to check. Let's see how you did. Rewrite the multiplication as an exponent and simplify. Well, 5 times 5 times 5, our base is 5, and our exponent is 3, because we're multiplying 5 three times. 5 to the third power is 125. What about 4 times 4? Yeah, 4 squared, or 4 to the second power. That gives us 16. We read the exponent as a multiplication and simplify. 6 to the 4th power. Hopefully you remember that we're going to take 6 multiplied by itself 4 times. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. What does that give us? 1,296. How about 11 to the 3rd power? That would be 11 times 11 times 11, which turns out to be 1,331. Now that we're done with exponents, we're going to talk about a perfect square. Now I know what you're asking. What is a perfect square? A perfect square is a number made by squaring a whole number. 
let me show you what I mean. Here's the tables of perfect squares. You're going to notice that 3 to the second power, or 3 squared, is 9. Remember, that means 3 times 3. 9 is called the perfect square. 11 to the second power is 11 times 11, which is 121. 121 is called the perfect square. Hopefully you notice that all of the perfect squares are taken to the second power, only the second power. So here's something interesting, just a little brain food for you. I'm going to list the first 10 perfect squares. So I have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 49, 64, and 81, and finally 100. There's something really interesting when we look at our perfect squares. Remember, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on are our perfect squares. I need to take 1 plus 3 to get 4. Okay. I need to take 4 plus 5 to get 9. All right, that makes sense. I need to take 9 plus 7 to get to 16. Hmm, do you notice something interesting? I need to take 16 plus 9 to get to 25. Can you guess what the next one is going to be? Yeah, 11. 25 plus 11 is 36. Can you guess the next one? 13. What about the next one? 15, 17, and 19. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd show it to you. Topic is going to be the square root. What is the square root exactly? Well, it's also called the radical. The square root of a number is a number which multiplied by itself gives you the original number. What? What? Square root is when you undo a perfect square. But before we get there, let's talk about the parts. The symbol here is called the radical sign, or radix. The number inside of the radical sign is called the radicand. There are a couple other parts, but these are the main ones we're going to talk about in this lesson. How would we read this then? Well, here's an example. We read this as the square root of x. Let's actually do a square root. We know that 3 squared equals 9. 3 is the base of the exponent, and 9 is the perfect square. Remember, the square root is when you undo a perfect square. The square root of 9 is 3. Hopefully you notice that the 9 is in my radical sign, and my answer ends up being the base. Let's look at another one. 5 to the second power, or 5 squared, is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Do you notice that my perfect square is underneath the radical sign? Remember, the square root is when you undo the perfect square. Let's look at one more. 10 to the second power, or 10 squared, is 100. Can you guess what the square root of 100 is? Yeah, it's 10. Here's a couple for you to try. You're going to pause the lesson, find the answers, then press play to check. Let's see how you did. 7 squared, or 7 to the second power, is 49. And it turns out the square root of 49 is 7. What squared gives me 81? That would be 9. 9 squared is 81. What is the square root of 81? That means that the square root of 81 is 9. What's 11 squared? That turns out to be 121. And the square root of 121 is 11. Let's do this quiz. You're going to pause the quiz, solve, then press play to check. No peeking! Let's look at the first one. 15 squared. Did you get 225? Cool! What about the square root of 144? That's 12. 
Then the fill in the blanks. Well, the first one is 9, because 9 squared is 81. And the square root of 81 is 9. Awesome! Yep, we're at the end of the video. It wasn't too bad. I'd like to thank you for watching. Do you need a little help taking video notes, or would you like to practice as you learn? Did you know that video guides and worksheets are available for purchase for all of our Pie Crustable Lecture Series? You can get them at Teachers Pay Teachers. Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss the next video. Do you have a request? Let me know. Email me at piecrustable at gmail.com or in this YouTube comment box below. It's been super fun having you here and I hope to see you in the next lecture.